Hey guys, welcome back to Chariot Palmistry. My name is Sulab Jain and on this channel we talk about palmistry. It's a spiritual tool to help you navigate your life. So if you want to learn about that kind of thing, make sure you hit subscribe. But in this video, we're going to be talking about the transits of Rahu and Ketu that are going to be happening later on this year. And if you think 2020 has been crazy so far, just wait until this transit takes place on the 22nd of September. So right now, Rahu is sitting in the sign of Gemini. Rahu, by the way, is the north node of the moon, and it represents things like illusion, uh, expansion, and it's actually a demonic planet. So it gives you growth and expansion, but it does it in a way that is not sustainable. And it's sitting in Gemini, which is a sign that represents, amongst other things, things like communication and also business. So if you have a look at businesses over the last 18 months when Rahu transited into here, which was about March of 2019, there's been generally an uptrend over here. But as I said, Rahu's growth is never sustainable, so things tend to drop off just after this transit happens. And in September, Rahu is going to move into Taurus. So before I explain what that's going to do, let's have a look at the opposite of Rahu, which is the south node of the moon, Ketu. That's been sitting in Sagittarius since March of 2019 too. Sagittarius is all about law and spiritual law. So Ketu is a planet that gives detachment. So since March of 2019, there have been attempts to remove world leaders and other heads of state, people who govern and who are in charge of law. So we can see how these two planets have been acting since last year. Let's have a look at what's going to happen later on this year. So as I said, in September the 22nd, this transit's going to happen. And Taurus is the second natural house of the Zodiac. And it rules things like food, finances, and families. So Rahu sitting in Taurus is going to expand these things under a false illusion. So there'll be growth in financial assets. There'll be people becoming obsessed with their families and people becoming obsessed with food as well. And at the same time, Ketu is going to be transiting into Scorpio, which rules things like sex, secrets, and it's also a very spiritual sign as well. And it's the latter that I really want to emphasize here, because spirituality and detachment are two things that go hand in hand. So the world's going to be divided up into two different groups during this time. One group's going to become extremely obsessed with materialism. The other group's going to become extremely spiritual. And being on this channel, I hope you guys are on the spiritual side of the spectrum here. But this is a general trend throughout the world. Let's have a look at how it's going to impact you directly. So what I want you to do is have a look at the Taurus phalange of your hand and also the Scorpio phalange. If you see horizontal lines running through here, then that means you're going to have a difficult 18 months, as in Rahu is going to create hardship in your life. The only exception to this though is if you have one long horizontal line through Taurus or Scorpio. This is like the exception to the rule because this line actually forms what is known as a crocodile symbol. And the crocodile is a palmistry symbol for happiness. So once these planets go over these points, you'll either become materially happy or spiritually happy, depending on where this crocodile sign is on your hands. In addition to this, if you have vertical lines on either of these phalanges, then this transit is actually going to be a happy time for you. It's going to bring lots of good things, either through spiritual growth or through financial growth. One way or the other, you're going to be looked after. But keep in mind that Rahu doesn't give long-term permanent happiness, it gives the illusion of happiness. So if you're getting happy over the next 18 months that you're making lots of money and growing your wealth, that's the illusion of Rahu. Remember, that's not going to last forever. The other thing to look at is whether you have Rahu lines on your lifeline. And they look like this. So what I want you to do is find out where you are on your lifeline and see if there's a Rahu line cutting through there sometime in the next 18 months. Now, how to do that becomes quite complex. So I've got a video on this on my channel and I'll link to that at the very end of this. So make sure you watch that video to find out if there's any Rahu lines that are becoming activated on your hands very soon. Because if they are, then that means Rahu is going to be giving you some kind of trouble. And the length of this Rahu line will tell you exactly what kind of trouble that is. So make sure you take some sort of precaution on that. 
One other thing to talk about is the day after this transit happens, on the 23rd of September, I think the world is going to get into a very crazy place. Basically, what we're going to have is Rahu and Ketu doing their transit, but at the same time, we're going to have Mars retrograde in Aries, and the Moon sitting right on top of Ketu as well, while Saturn is in Capricorn. These are all very strong planets, giving very strong energy. Mars retrograde in Aries speaks of war and conflict. Saturn in Capricorn speaks of financial hardship. And Moon in Ketu speaks of extreme detachment. So keep your eyes and ears open in the last week of September into perhaps the first two weeks of October. The world is going to be on edge just as these two planets are creating a lot of changes within you guys as well. Now, if you want to find out about those Rahu lines, click on this video here. And if you want to learn about the crocodile symbol in palmistry, click on this video here. Thanks a lot, guys.